Hi, I'm Al Kex. I'm a designer for Mode Machines and we're at the NAM 2013. I'm going to look at the SID and walk you through uh, some of the features. Here it is. It's a groove box. It uses the SID chip from the Commodore 64. It's a monophonic uh, lead type thing. It has all sorts of arpeggiators and things. Um, it's quite simple interface to use hardware-wise, but you can go really into depth with the software that comes with it. Really go in there and craft your sound. It's called the SID Librarium. It's, uh, you can, you've got four graphs that can be assigned to any of the 24 parameters that you can just draw by hand. You can um, create sequences. You can hear one right now. You can play with it on the fly. And um, it synchronizes to MIDI, so it's quite fun to you know, make a melody and clock it to your Ableton Live session or whatever you like to use. You can also create drum sounds, wavetable drums. Very chip tuny sounding, uh, step by step, in uh, 10 millisecond increments, you can change the pitch, and that's how you get all the rising and falling sounds. There's also, um, for the nerds amongst us, there's the nerd mode. If you've got the diagram for the actual SID chip, you can uh, go and change the um, uh, address registers and whatnot, hit byte by byte. Quite fun. Uh, what else? Uh, if we look at the unit, you can um, create your sounds, upload them all to the unit, then take it away, standalone. There's a, a two-channel sequencer built in for instrument leads and drums, quite similar to the one on the Zoxbox, the TB303. And um, what more can I say? It's fun to use, it's cute, and I love it. I hope you will too.